Radiant heating. What the hell is it? Well, radiant heating is any type of heating method that radiates heat outward. So a wood stove, that heat that you feel from a wood stove standing across the room, that's radiant heating. That is heat radiating outward. So remember, heat does not rise. People that say heat rises are not saying it correctly. Hot things rise. Hot air rises. Uh, hot water rises. Heat does not rise. Heat radiates outward in all directions, no matter what kind of heat it is. It doesn't matter. So radiant heating is heat that radiates outward. And radiant floors, like you see my floors have all these tubes in them and my concrete has all these tubes in them. The goal is to get the floors to radiate heat upward. The reason we want it upward is because that's where we are. We're not in the ground. So we put styrofoam underneath, which keeps the heat from going downward somewhat. It still, going, it still goes downward, but we try to resist the flow of heat, which is that R value number that everyone hears. R value is the resistance to heat flow, basically. So we want the heat to come upward. Okay. So what other types of heat are there? Well, there's convec convective heat, convection, which is air blowing. These Modine heaters right here, which you see, have a fan on the back of them, which blows air. This is a convective type of heat. It blows hot air. Now that hot air rises to the ceiling. Um, the heat does not rise. The hot air rises because it is heated. What does it do when it gets to the ceiling? Well, the air cools off and comes back down and heats the surfaces that are up near the ceiling, which is why I like radiant heating, because I'm not at the ceiling. Although I'm 6'4 and taller than most people and spend more time near the ceiling than most people, I'm not up there. And so your ceilings with convective heating, like a furnace, blows the air around. And when it's on, it feels nice and warm. Ah, oh, it's great, warm. And then when it shuts off, all the surfaces are still cold. But with radiant heating, it's radiating heat upward and heating all the objects in the room. So that when you walk around, you're feeling heat being radiated out of your counters and your cabinets and your couch and everything in the room because the stuff is being heated. So that's great because it's a really comfortable heat. Everybody likes the heat from a wood stove because it just warms you through and through. And that's what radiant heating does. Your floors are warm. And especially in a house where you walk around barefoot, you feel the warm floors all the time. And consequently, you can keep your heat at a lower setting. I heat my house to 68 and I'm perfectly comfortable. So that's why I want radiant heating. The second reason that I wanted radiant heating in my house specifically is because I have allergies. And when a furnace comes on, it blows a bunch of dust in the air and I can't breathe. It's terrible. Um, a wood stove is great except for the mess, cleaning out the ashes, the mess, putting the wood in, going to get the wood, you know, lighting it. All those things are, you know, are work, basically. Um, and radiant, radiant heating I saw as the, the ultimate way to heat because it's comfortable and it's, you know, doesn't, doesn't irritate my allergies, basically. So that is radiant heating.